Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw the iOS Photos icon in Adobe Illustrator. So I've created a new document in Illustrator, 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels high. And I'm going to start by selecting the rectangle tool and left clicking from the top left corner all the way to the bottom right corner. And you can give this a fill color of your choice. This is going to be the background. And I've gone with a light gray. And here is the six digit hex value for the color. So you can just copy that with Command or Control C. And then in the color picker, with your shape selected, just press Command or Control V to paste that six digit number in there. And then you should have your background color. And I'm also going to go to Object lock and selection that will lock this selected background just so now we don't accidentally select it by mistake so let's start by selecting the rectangle tool again and we could just single left click anywhere on the artboard and it will bring up the dialog box and we can specify the dimensions for our rectangle so let's make it 170 pixels wide and 260 pixels high and let's remove the fill and for the time being I'm just going to give this a stroke color let's just go with a shade of gray and I'll make this a little bit thicker just so you can see what I'm doing so you should have this and then with this selected if you're using Illustrator CC or newer what you can do is these little circles inside from the edges you can left click and drag to quickly and easily round off corners if you are using an older version of Illustrator so CS6 or earlier you can go to effect down to stylize select round corners tick the preview box and specify your radius and then from the appearance panel on the right you can then either edit this effect or you can delete it altogether so just two different ways of rounding off corners however as I'm using a recent version of Illustrator we can just quickly round these off by dragging on those little circles okay so there we go and I'm just gonna swap the fill and the stroke now so we have no outline and we just have a solid fill so what we're going to do next is just hold down alt and shift and drag this straight down to create a copy I'm just going to wait for this to snap in place and we need to move this down 35 pixels so what we can do is we can hold shift and use the down arrow key each nudge of the arrow key with shift held will move your shape 10 pixels and if you take your hand off of the shift key it will move it one pixel so we simply hold shift and go one two three and then we take our hand off shift and go one two three four five as a quick and easy way to move this 35 pixels lower and what we can then do is select both of these shapes go to edit copy edit paste in place hold shift and rotate and you'll see that by holding shift it will snap to 45 degree or 90 degree increments and then we can select all four shapes and do the same again so go to edit copy edit paste in place hold shift and from the corner rotate and we're going to stop at a 45 degree increment this time so hopefully you should have something like this and you can go into outline mode by pressing command or control Y and you'll be able to see all the lines and paths that make up your shapes now we're going to add the fill to the icon the color the petals so let's select this top shape and then from the swatches panel you can see that I've pre-created all the swatches already so if I double click each swatch in turn you'll see the six digit color value here just remember to copy that and then load up the color picker and paste it down here and it will then add that color to the shape so let's go through and just start coloring these up so I'll double click just so you can see the color value of each one I'll do this nice and quickly but feel free to pause the video if you'd like to 
manually enter these colors. Alternatively, what you can also do is search for the iOS photos icon on Google, copy and paste a JPEG into your Illustrator document, and then just use the eyedropper tool over here on the left to just eyedrop and sample those colors that way, whichever's quicker. So we've got the blue, and the purple, and then lastly we've got the pink. So there we go, lots and lots of colors. And what we're going to do now is just drag over all of them because they are all overlapping at the moment. And we're going to blend them all through each other. So let's just change the blending mode in the transparency panel from normal to multiply. And there you go, you'll see all of the shapes and the colors all blend through each other nicely. And what we can do now is drag over all of these and go to object and group. And we can now move this around as one shape. And we can also select the ellipse tool and left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And give that a fill color of your choice. I'm going to go with white and then go object, arrange and send backwards and it will just put it behind the colorful icon that we've created. And now there's one more thing left to do and that is to centrally align everything on the page. So we can just drag over both the white circle and our flowery colorful iOS photos icon and select this little option at the top and change from align to selection down to align to artboard. And then when we align this horizontally, centrally and vertically centrally by clicking these two icons here, it will position our icon in the center of the page. And we can also again drag over everything and go to object group and we can now move this around as well as one object. And there we go, that's how to draw the iOS photos icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.